Hey guys, so today I want to do a neutral type of look, one that you can easily wear to a bridal party or out to a special lunch with friends or anything like that. So it's a little bit more special, but definitely very wearable. And first of all, I'm going to put on this NYX Shine Killer, and I'm really excited to try this out. I got it a couple weeks ago, but I wanted to use it for a video, so I'm just going to be applying this on my finger and then just blending it into my skin. And it's just a clear liquid like that. And... As you can see, I'm a little bit shiny right now, so hopefully this will mattify my skin. I didn't want to completely mattify my skin before because I wanted to see the full effects of this and see if it would actually look different. Alright, so right now I'm in between shades, so I'm going to mix my two foundations together, the Revlon Color Stay, and this one is the Maybelline, what is it? can't remember. Maybelline Fit Me. I got a little sunburn, um, just a little bit on my cheeks the other day because I was working in my garden trying to make it look nicer and my cheeks look a little bit rosy today so I just want to cover that up. So the other thing I wanted to say really quickly is sorry my hair looks so freaking ridiculous right now. I honestly tried to make it look as good as possible and it's just one of those days where your hair will not cooperate with you. It will not look good whatever you do. So I just decided to throw it up in a bun, which even the bun it looks super messy. So next I'm going to take my Hard Candy Glam Flash All Covered Up Concealer. And I'm going to take my concealer brush from e.l.f. And I'm just going to put it on the back of my hand. And then I'm going to apply it onto the brush and then onto my face. And I'm just going to apply this underneath my eyes. And I definitely don't want too much of this product because a little does go a long way. I'm just going to take that little bit that I have left and I'm just going to apply it on the brush again. And I'm going to tap it on a few red spots that I have on my face just to make sure they look completely covered up. Alright, next I'm going to take my Revlon Photo Ready Powder and I'm going to take my e.l.f. Kabuki brush and just dust this all over my cheeks. And when I do this, I actually like to pat it on rather than like do a buffing motion just because I feel like it lasts a lot longer on my skin. Like I said, I have oily skin so I just feel like it kind of locks it in there better. Just dust this powder on. Alright, next I'm just taking my e.l.f. primer potion and I'm dotting this all over my eyelid just to have a nice just to have a nice base for my eyeshadow. Even though this is kind of more of a neutral look, um, so you don't necessarily need the base. I do want the colors to last and I do want them to pop, so I'm just going to apply this all over my eyelid. Alright, so I'm taking a matte shadow. This is Camouade by Lexaba, and I really like it. It's a gorgeous matte color, and I really like it because it's great for the highlight, and it's hard to find matte highlights, and this one is so gorgeous. It's really similar to my skin tone, so it works really well. I'm going to pat this all over the eyelid just to make it look really nice and all one color and make sure that we have just like a nice creamy base. Alright, so next I'm going to take this eyeshadow. It's by L'Oreal and I've used it several times in other videos. It's absolutely gorgeous. I love this pigment. It's super shiny, shimmery, and perfect. So what I'm going to do is just take it on this angled brush. This is again by e.l.f. and it's their defining eye brush. And what I'm actually going to do is start in the inner corner and just blend it outwards to my crease. So like I said, I'm just dusting this across the crease and as you can see it's fading out towards the end so there's a lot less pigment at the end and it's mainly in the corner of your eye and I just think it's really fun and playful. So next I'm going to take this eyeliner by Clinique and it's in the color Egyptian and I really like this. It's kind of a black color but if you look really close to it, it's kind of got like a metallic golden olive color. Um, you probably can't see very good, but it does have a little bit of a golden shimmer to it, so I'm just going to take another e.l.f. brush. I'm just using a ton of e.l.f. stuff today. So I'm just going to start in the center and then just drag it out. And this is a cream eyeliner, so it's really nice to work with. I haven't used many cream products, so I'm still kind of getting used to them, but they're really nice. So I'm going all the way to the inner corner of my eye. Alright, next I'm going to take my L'Oreal Shocking Extensions Mascara. Alright, I'm also going to 
also going to take that mascara and just apply it to my bottom lashes. I'm going to take this hard candy pencil to nude one, and I'm just going to draw this in my inner waterline just to make my eyes appear a little bit more wide awake and not so closed off. Alright, so next I'm going to move on to my bronzer. This one is by Lancome. It's in Bronze Lumiere, and it's this really pretty tannish um, peach color. And I'm just going to apply this on my cheekbones and my temples. Next I'm going to take my blush. This one is in Peachy Keen. And as you can see, it's fairly similar to the bronzer. I just wanted to stick with peaches for this look just to make it look a little bit more summery. I'm next going to take my highlighter duo by Stila. It's in the color Kitten. And I'm actually just going to take the more tannish side. Just this on my temples and on my cheekbones. Take this lipstick. It's by Sully's and it's in the color peach. And just gonna apply this on the center of my lips. And blend it out with my finger. Lastly, I'm just going to take this lip gloss by Flower, it's in the color Baby's Breath, and I'm just going to apply this in the center of my lips. 